That's Sheffield, my city. Seven hills and five rivers. I'm going to show you around. I've got one day to do it. So let's get cracking. This is one of my favourite pieces of Sheffield. It's a great piece of council town planning. Behind me is a cutting edge. It's a piece of sculpture. I know it looks like a urinal in a swanky pub, but it's lovely. All of this is part of the entrance to Sheffield from Midland train station. And it just really cheers anybody up who enters this town. Because basically, you go to the cities and the train stations are really terrible places to enter. But this one is absolutely fantastic. Chief view, no carpets, no music, just great beer. Unfortunately it's shut, so I can't take you in and have a pint. Let's go to another pub. Mm. This is the Sheffield Tap. It's a jewel in the crown of Sheffield Boozers. It's at the Midland train station. It's a must visit place. It's got more beers than you could drink in one day. Sheffield was a city of real graph. Now it's a city of real ale. We've got some beautiful pubs and we've got 10 microbreweries brewing in the Sheffield area using the beautiful soft Sheffield water. I'm going to show you a few later on today. One of the great things about the Sheffield Tap is it brews its own beer on site twice a week producing some beautiful smooth ales like this little cheeky number at three and a half percent a gorgeous little session ale. <sighs> Nectar. Hmm. Sheffield's got a collection of street art that's building up to match that of Bristol and London. There's some main protagonists, a kid acne, Flem, Rocket, and this one as well by Phonographic. These are leading street artists in Sheffield and they, they exhibit worldwide as well. And it's beautiful to have this city decorated in such wonderful art. Hopefully I'll be able to show you some more later on as well. I've queued many a time outside these doors on a Friday and Saturday night to get in here, the lead mill. I've also had a great pleasure of playing on the stage three times. The first time was on a Saturday afternoon in the Battle of the Bands with my first band, the Miami Dolphins. I'd just been kicked in outside the lead mill the night before and I was suffering from amnesia. I couldn't remember half the set. I mean, I really couldn't remember half the set. The next time we supported a band called American Music Club, a lovely American band. We played to about 30 or 40 people. And then finally, the last time I played was this Christmas with the Evans Brennan Brothers and we sold it out 2000. Triumphant homecoming. Cracking. Oh, yeah. Could I have a pint of Guinness, please? Pint Tom? Of Guinness. I'm now sat in Fagan's, the greatest little boozer in Sheffield. I won't tell you drinks in here, but I will say it does the best Guinness in Sheffield. Cheers. Oh, yes. I did that. I'm stood outside the most famous building in Sheffield, the Henderson's Relish Factory. Thing is, no one's ever seen going in, and no one's ever seen coming out. Rumour has it, it's run by Umpa Lumpers. Just as you walk past the cutting edge sculpture outside the train station, you come across the showroom cinema, which is Sheffield's independent film house. Its predecessor, The Anvil, which closed down in the 80s, much like everything in Sheffield did, was run by a chap called Dave Godin. And an interesting fact about Dave Gordon was, he coined the phrase, Northern Soul, what a man. I've got to be honest with you, Sheffield has its fair share of bonkers architecture, and the kettle drums behind me, they're one of them. It was built for the ill-fated Museum of Popular Music, which nobody turned up to, so it closed down quite quickly. Hallam University use it now as their student union. I love these monsters, I think they're gorgeous. That's a poem written by Andrew Motion, the Poet Laureate, who was commissioned by the Off the Shelf Festival in Sheffield in 2007, which is a great festival. Sheffield has plenty of those, I'll talk about those later. I don't think anybody actually reads this because we're too busy rushing around trying to get to the train station and catch our train. But it's a nice idea, I like it. Oh. 
here's a little bit of Sheffield history for you. It flooded twice. What we got there in 2007, we thought that was pretty bad. But look at that one, 1864, how high the water got. Well, I'm having a break now, it's my dinner time, and I'm in the Fat Cap, beautiful little pub. And a bit of Kellam Island Best, another pub which has its own brewery. What a city. Cheers. Well, while I've just finished my dinner, I shall uh, enlighten you on some facts about Sheffield from this little book here. I can tell you that uh, Sheffield's the greenest city in the country. It has the most trees per capita of any other city. It has about 45,000 students, of which it has the highest retention of students of any other city. And it also has the largest complex of theatres outside of the West End. So we're a very cultured and green city indeed. Never mind the beer, this is what you want, pork pie fridge, eh? Classic. Behind me stands Park Hill Flats, erected in the 1960s to help social housing. It was constructed in the Brutalistic Art Movement, which I think is a quite apt title for it. Um, unfortunately, it went into decline in the 80s when the rest of the Sheffield went into decline, and it should have been knocked down. But unfortunately, English Heritage, in their infinite wisdom, have decided to list the concrete structure. Therefore, it remains an eyesore for most Sheffielders to this day. Just over my shoulder is another hidden gem of Sheffield. It's a piece of street art by Flem, one of the uh, four leading street artists in Sheffield. It's a lovely piece of work, and it's also on the side of a really great pub called the Riverside, which as you would uh, guess, um, is in Neeps End, which is the start of the Real Ale Trail. And it's well worth a visit. Right, where I'm going to take you now is to the uh, McKee Ancestral Home in Batemore, place of my birth. And my family came from Attercliffe, from Brightside and uh, moved to Batemore when they started knocking down all the slums and back-to-back -back houses and shipping everybody into satellite council estates that have just been built up everywhere. I was about going uh, calling on my brother. Don't know I'm coming so this might be a bit of a surprise. This is my house here, but it used to be. We used to play cricket on this uh, bit of grass and football. And that tree and the side of the house used to be our uh, goal post. My mate David Cherubinsky used to live on the corner. He had the best collection of toys I've ever known uh, any human to have. And about three doors down, my old mate Roger Raven and we used to just kick around together. See, look at that. It's not good. Oh, it's, that's the side gate. See, look at this. Your brother, this is Andy Weck, I can tell you. This is uh, actually the, a, a preview of a piece for this show, Joy Chef. And I've got my brother and his engineering skills to construct it for me to my exacting designs. Look at that going to be a globe eventually when I've sorted this little football out. Very nice. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm in the Greystones, um, another fine pub in Sheffield. This one is unique because it's got one of the best live venues uh, in the city. A gorgeous little pub and again, a pub that brews its own beer. Okay. Sheffield's got uh, 13 municipal uh, parks, which again just testimony to how brilliantly green Sheffield is. And one of the things you can do in one of these parks is play the sport of kings, which is pitch and putt.
Could I have a uh, jar of shepherd honey, please? Of course, and you can. A bottle of Hendo. Yeah. There we go. Eight pound five, please. Thank you. Lovely, lovely. I know there's a lot of talk about the high street dying, but uh, on this little road where my gallery sits is uh, Chauvel Road. It's an absolute jewel, a, a gem of a place. There's shops there. We've got fishmongers. We've got greengrocers. We've got a fish and chip shop that's to die for. We have boutique shops, antique shops. We've got everything on the Shirebell Road. You've got to come and visit that as well. It's a great day out. And two boozers as well. And what more could you want in life? <coughs> now this is food of the gods. The fish cake butter. Sheffield's finest. Give it a good squeeze. Plenty of salt vinegar. And tuck in. Mmm. Oh, right, I've had a fantastic day showing you around. I've had far too many beers and I think it's time I go home. I hope you've had a good idea what Sheffield's all about and hopefully I'll see you here soon one day. Adios, Gringos. Or I say in Sheffield, I'll see you there.